Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about the first public beta of iOS 13 and iPad OS. These have both been released today. So if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and install iOS 13 public beta one on your devices. Now, of course, iPad OS as well for your iPads. So what's new in this? Well, you guys have probably already watched all the videos that go over all the new stuff. The main things that stood out to me are dark mode, swipe keyboard and blocking unknown callers. Those are like the big three, but obviously they've done other things like added the find my, and they tried to really improve a lot of things like in messages and uh, overall it's a very polished operating system. But with that said, it is a beta. So as soon as I saw this earlier today around 1.30, I of course went and downloaded it. And so I've been using it since then. And I can say my battery seems to be dying pretty quickly. It might just be because it's indexing all the files and everything for the first run. So hard to say, but uh, battery life so far has not been that great, but that is to be expected. It is a beta. Oh, of course, how could I forget the less obtrusive volume HUD? I actually don't love the way that they did the new volume button, but uh, I'll do a whole video maybe tomorrow or the next day going over this, like maybe showing my phone. I might even put up some screenshots right now, uh, maybe <laughs> of the notifications. I think they look really slick. Uh, with the new dark mode. But anyways, I'll just give you my quick thoughts on this beta so that you guys can kind of decide if you want to take the risk of installing this on a daily driver like I did. So personally, the install for me went flawlessly. It was a pretty decently quick download uh, and install. It was not painful at all. So very happy about that. I did not lose anything when I did the upgrade. I know I get that question all the time. Will I lose stuff? No, you probably won't, but I highly recommend that you make a full backup of your phone beforehand, either in iTunes, iCloud, or both. Always a good idea to do that. It's just what you're supposed to do. Uh, I don't, but you know, that's me. Cause I don't care if I lose anything on my phone. It's all pretty much, uh, I can just re-download it. Like if I lose Brawl Stars, I'll just re-download it and sign in. All of that's pretty smooth. Now, how's the operating system itself? I've run into a couple apps crashing, a couple weird bugs already. And I've only had it for what, six hours now. There have been some uh, very weird things that happen like an app. Sometimes I'll see this top status bar in a landscape game, but the time and stuff's up at the top, like it's in portrait mode, super weird stuff, but nothing that has really hindered my experience so far. I really like a lot of the new features and me personally, just from these past few hours, I don't see a big reason not to upgrade if you want to dabble in it. So if you are looking to get in on the iOS 13 betas, I think this is a good entry port. This beta is relatively stable and I don't think many people will have too many big issues with it. You get to test drive all the new features. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this down below in the comments, but that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.